Do you have eggs every single day? No. Sometimes the smallest deal, you talk to guys like, I only use the shoestring heels. Other guys like, I want the biggest deal you can. They key in on a certain thing and it's your job to figure it out that night what they're looking for. And we've all had nights where the biggest deal catches the biggest fish and we've all had nights where the smallest deal catches the biggest fish. But a striped bass is predominantly uh, an opportunity feeder. You know, it's waiting for a moment for a bait to come by that it can eat. Big fish don't move around a lot. They kind of like like the bait to come to them a little bit. So you need to put it in his face. If you put a six inch eel in front of an 80 pound bass's mouth, will he eat it? Probably. If you put a two foot, he'll probably eat that too. I mean, I've caught striped bass with virtually every single bait you can think of in them. So they eat what basically passes their face. So what bait's good? I don't know. Today's different. And that's your job. Every day you got to figure it out. What are they eating today and why? Why did they eat a black lure last night and a yellow lure tonight? But that's the fun of striped bass fishing. That's what makes bass such a fun fish to fish for because who the hell knows what he's going to eat today? It's your job to find it out. So today they eat porgies and tomorrow they eat blackfish and you can't catch a damn one of them on a porgy. How long do you want to fish the porgy before you realize the guy next to you is catching them on blackfish? But it's being observant. Most fishermen I know are observant. I catch fish on the beach and no one sees me reel them in. I find that absolutely impossible to do. I do it on the boat too. I stick the rod in the water like this, I'll talk to you, have a conversation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But most people aren't aware. You've got to be aware in this game. And you've got to be aware of everything. Even a dumb bird, you see him circle, he sees much better than we do, and he's high. So he might have saw a huge fish push a piece of bait up. He might have saw nothing. But you know that he saw something, so you should be paying attention. And you should always be aware, always look, always search. If you're always aware and looking, then, then you're more aware of what's going on around you. Your brain is working. I find most fishermen, their brains don't work. They fish and they hope something eats their bait. That's the majority. That's why the old saying 90%, uh, you know, that 90% that, that of the fish are caught by 10% of the fishermen, those are the guys that are actually fishing. Everybody else just went out and went fishing for a nice day. And you definitely, then, then you're just getting lucky and you really don't want to get lucky. I mean, it happens, but you want to be good. You don't want to be lucky.